Oh man, I got a cold. So you're sick, <laughs> Dr. Bruce here. <laughs> I'm a little sick too, I caught a bug at work. And you know, the bar is a cesspool for germs. I mean, I'm dealing with the public every day. <laughs> if you're sick, feeling a little run down, well, Dr. Bruce is here to help you feel better. <laughs> I'm gonna fix you up with a, with a soothing hot toddy. Even if you're not sick, have a hot toddy just because. The history of the hot toddy is naturally disputed. One story suggests it started when the British were involved in trade with India as early as the 17th century and appropriated the beverage as their own. You see, the Hindu word taddy, that's a T-A-D-D-Y, was a drink made from the fermented sap of palm trees. Another story finds its roots in Irish and Scottish tradition. The drink was made with whiskey, surprise, surprise, <laughs> hot water, honey, and spices, and was toted as a cure for the common cold, or at least help with relieving symptoms. I can see why, because whiskey is a great decongestant. Alcohol dilates the blood vessels, making it much easier for your mucous membranes to deal with infections. Combine honey and lemon, there's your vitamin C, and various spices, and yes, you've got a great recipe to help clear you up. It'll make you breathe easier and definitely help you sleep. You know, you get all groggy and just kind of like pass out. <laughs> there was even an Irish doctor during the 19th century, Robert Bentley Todd, who ordered his patients to drink hot brandy, spices, and sugar water. Eventually, the hot toddy made its way to the American colonies, replacing the whiskey with rum from the Caribbean and often local brandy. During the Revolutionary War, colonists would use toddies as liquid courage to help get up the nerve to fight. Wherever the toddy came from, I'm glad it's here. There are countless recipes for a hot toddy. Typically, it's simply uh, liquor, hot water, uh, sugar, and spices. One thing I like to add to the mix is ginger because of its medicinal properties, mainly because ginger will boost your immunity and helps with reducing pain being an anti-inflammatory. And let's not forget, ginger tastes good. Okay, let's get better. <laughs> let's make a hot toddy. Seeing as I'm sick, we better scrub up, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. I think I'm clean. Now, first thing you wanna do is uh, grab some hot, hot boiling water and just get your glass nice and hot. All right, let's just set that aside. Now, one thing I like to do is, I've got some fresh cinnamon here. I'm just gonna smash that up a bit, break her up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it in our, uh, our hot water, just to kind of infuse some cinnamon in that. Yeah. Next thing we do, I've got some uh, fresh ginger. It's not a lot, just a little tiny little piece that I've, I've skinned and I'm gonna muddle. Get all the juices going. All right, we're there. I'm just gonna add this to this mix of cinnamon. So now we're looking at cinnamon and ginger, neat. Get all that juice in there. Yum. Looking good. Okay. Just get rid of this hot water. And let's make a drink. Brandy. <laughs> That's what it's gonna take to make us feel better. Two ounces. A good two ounces. <laughs> all right. Honey. I've got some unpasteurized honey. I got a good bar spoon, a teaspoon of honey that I'm just gonna pop in this drink. All right, let's get all that goodness out of there. Yeah, yum. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm liking it already. 
Okay, next thing we want is a little lemon. You gotta get our vitamin C going on there. And uh, I just got a little wedge here. And what you want is about uh, a quarter of an ounce. That might be a little bit more, but that's okay because we wanna feel better. All right, let's take our nice infused mix here. And we're gonna double strain because I don't want any of that ginger pulpy stuff going on there, right? Oh yeah, yeah. This is gonna fix us up just fine and dandy. Looking good, all right. We'll get our bar spoon again and give it a little stir just to dissolve all that honey. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna feel great, you wait and see. Mm-hmm. And we'll just top it off with a little rind of lemon that I uh, pierce with these cloves and drop her in her drink. Oh. I can't smell a damn thing. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little lemon. It's just sweet enough with that honey. That's warming my, warm my insides. And you know, brandy is what you should use because brandy will warm your blood. You know, you can use scotch, you can use Irish whiskey, you can use spiced rum, whatever you like. Oh, wow, that's gonna fix me up just right. It's gonna fix you up just right. Uh, make one and call me in the morning. Excuse me. Oh, man. Hey, Bruce here. Check out some of these past episodes and make sure you subscribe or you'll miss out on all the fun. Yeah, we have fun here. For more drinks and recipes, check out bartalkandcocktails.com. Thanks for watching. Let's do it again next week.